Can he add to the goals he scored already this season? He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. Hi there again. Once more, it's Martin Tyler and Alan Smith with you for this game, which, uh, well, we came to the ground, the weather looked OK, but we've been hit by snow flurries, and it's actually snowing as kickoff approaches. Yeah, it seems to be getting a bit heavier. It's if it starts covering up the lines and snow gathers on the ball, that's when the ref's got a decision to make. And our match today, Arsenal against West Ham United. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. He's the one to watch, he's the one that his teammates will be looking to, to make the difference. This is the Arsenal lineup. Ben Leno starts in goal. Socrates Papastotopoulos starts with Laurent Koscielny in central defence. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. Only one up front in terms of an out-and-out forward. West Ham United's lineup is this. Adrian starts in goal. Winston Reid starts with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. Jack Wilshire plays with Mark Noble in central midfield. And the last player on the team sheet is the one main forward. Arsenal, a good side they look at the moment. They won away their last game against Chelsea. Fantastic 4-0 win. Strikers were on fire. Maybe a draw, though, today against a good side. So Arsenal kicked off. Lanzini. Reed. Zabaleta. Obama Yang. Well, this should be a promising game. I think Arsenal will be looking to win it, but it could be tough for them. This might be dangerous from the corner. It's good that the game's gone ahead. It's not so much the conditions in the stadium here. And then it's outside, of course, that when the really icy weather comes, that games get cooled off for that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, because the pitches are so good and with undersaw heating, it's, it's rare that uh, it's unplayable. But uh, if the conditions outside are deemed unsafe, then they have no choice, do they? Henrik Mkhitaryan. Giroud. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker. Can put them in front here. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Neatly intercepted. Taking on the defenders. To put them in front. Opening goal. It belongs to Arsenal. Oh, you won't see many better finishes than that. And the way he's hit this one, he's flew off his boot to beat the keeper. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So Arsenal have the lead here. Noble. Zabaleta. Robert Snodgrass. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Jack Wilshire. Trot on.
Lichsteiner. Henrik Mikitarian. Lichsteiner. Going forward well. The cross comes in, it's Lichsteiner responsible for it. He's refused to be beaten here. Well, stand innovation from the fans, and why not? What a stop. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Obama Yang. Well, possibly the snow actually helped him with that challenge. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Giroud. Well, that's good support play from his teammates. Pressed and won the ball well forward. Must score. Well, he scored. It's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Goalkeeper was reaching for it, and it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power on the ball and the shot for him to get a strong enough touch. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and... Boy, is it getting results out there. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Noble. Angelo Ogbonna. Lanzini. Jack Wilshire. Throw in now. Lichsteiner, Laurent Koscielny, Henrik Mkhitaryan. Quick into the tackle, and the result is going to be a throw. Now they've thrown uh, the ball away there, literally to the opposition. Now Mkhitaryan. Has to keep possession now. Wonderful interception. Jerome. It's a top effort, really, but it's just too high. Maybe next time that kind of effort will be on target. <laughs> Angelo Ogbonna. Place another two minutes two added minutes on by the referee. El Neni anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. A brilliant first half from this fella. Oh, it was a top performance in that first half. A couple of goals for him and everything he tried came off. He scared that defence to death and he'd just be hoping to do the same in the second half. So Arsenal kicked off. on the defense. Second half coming up at the Emirates. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Lanzini. Attacking well here. Deflected out for a throw. 
Lichtsteiner. Giroud. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Space for the shot. Italian. What a goal. Well, good finish, no doubt, Martin. But what about the play before that? What about the passing? Wonderful team effort. Arsenal almost on easy street with that uh, latest goal and very comfortable in the situation in the match. Well, it's just a question of being a professional now and not making any mistakes. I don't think we expected this, such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Some transfer news, there's been a lot of speculation about the future of Edinson Cavani. We can tell you about his immediate future, he has moved to Real Madrid. Well, there were a few in for this boy, and uh, this team, in paying around £55 million, pounds, made sure they got their man. Arsenal about to make a change. Takes on the shot. Tried to keep it down, but couldn't. If he had her, I think the keeper might have been struggling there. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Well, the ball's gone past everyone in the penalty area and out away from danger. Some activity down on the Arsenal bench. I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary. It's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that because the one side has been knocking the ball about nice and crisply, the other one's been chasing it and looked flat, lethargic. Action on the benches. Both teams are going to make a substitution. Now Mkhitaryan. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. On the attack here. Now, this is an interesting attack. Diego Perotti. Danny Welbeck. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. And it's Jack Wilshire. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. And here's the shot. Leno makes the save without any difficulty. El Neni. Danny Welbeck. Tried to tackle here and he's done that. West Ham want to make a change. Well, this was a match that we thought would be really tight, but there's only been one side in it. Arsenal have dominated the game. It's a historic result for them. It's not often you get at this level a game as one-sided as this. It's great for the team with all the goals, but... Wonderful chance! This is a test of his... Well, this could cost him. El Elneny. Bentleno. Well, we're down to the last minute here. The referee has indicated there will Added be time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Of well, I like the look of this attack. Oh, and that is a chance. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. 
Well, there's the final whistle. Arsenal have won it. The winning is a wonderful feeling, but particularly when you've beaten a team as good as this one, and they are very proud, and rightly so. I think so. They would have come into the game not quite knowing what to expect, but having put together a polished performance, they deservedly win. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances.